Hey guys, this is Coach Chris. Welcome to my channel where we break down international fights for strategies and tactics that you can use in your own matches. Today we're looking back at an older video, Lee Dae-hoon versus Huang Yu-jen from Taipei, the Muju uh, World Final. Let's get into it. Lee Dae-hoon doing some poke. I think prior to this, uh, Taipei, it's the only really information, good information we have is Taipei has a deadly left front leg, very accurate and very versatile. He can shoot it from a bunch of different positions. Lee Dae-hoon uh, has a lot of good um, overall strategy and game sense. Nice punch. Wow, and the body kick. Nice. Good use of his hands here. I like that a lot. Nice try. I'll take a look at that roundhouse real quick. So, Lee Day is doing a great job of, number one, staying open stance. So, um, he can't really... I guess you can kind of flip to the backside. KPNP is not so great for the flipper down kick to the, to the flank. Um, but if you were open side, it's something where he's denying where you can um, slide it across. So if this is the Hogu, it's, he's denying where your foot goes like that, like straight, straight through. Um, usually you have to swipe downwards and it's harder to do on a KPMP. So Lee Dae-hoon fighting right leg in front to deny that flank shot. The second thing I like that Lee Dae-hoon is doing is he is doing a lot of occupying this front space here. And the reason that's important, let me throw up this epic pen. The reason that it's important is because... If the person you're going against has a very versatile front leg, you want to be occupying this space as often as possible, like this this space here in the middle, because that's where his leg needs to travel in order to get to you anyway. So if you if you're constantly have something in here, his leg has a, it's gonna have to run into something as it enters the space, and it kind of denies uh, his ability to find points easier. If you don't counter that with movement or you don't counter that with occupying the space, he has free reign over that territory and from that little space in here, he's able to find the the openings. So what I want to see here though is I like Dehun's counter after blocking. He he kind of scoots for it. He has a follow foot. I mean obviously he scored the point after this kick, not this one. Trying to occupy the space. Nice try. Getting his hand in the way. Nice. So, I want you guys to notice he covers more distance than normal here. Throws half speed. Watch his base foot. I want you to watch this base foot here. Uh, keeps, his, keeps the space occupied. And there's a follow foot forward. So, it's not an in-place round kick. He's He is moving forward for this. One more time. Nice. Okay. All right. So just as a something to note for you guys who are fighting front leg fighters, um, when when after you're able to defeat the front leg, after you get it out of the air, whatever the case is, go forward with that round kick to transcribe the body like De like Dehun was doing here. Good job by him. And let's keep this playing. Same thing, occupying a lot of that space either with his hand or with his foot, making it so it's hard for red to occupy the space and it's not not necessarily a score yeah he uses it to punch yeah he's kind of cutting at him but it's more so to deny red the ability to, to use that let's try looking for the pocket inside shots oh my gosh wow good stuff here by the king i wish he could fight olympics like one more time man that was good job to ooze back this olympic year but Man, I, I wanted Dehun just to take the crown because he's a nice guy all around. Try. Nice try there. Great. Nice. So it doesn't seem like this guy really has any defense against the clinch or him 
or Dehun coming in at him. Dehun has to just defeat that front leg, get it out of the air either with his hand or with his uh, with a cut, and then goes in. Interesting. So Dehun opting for the close stance position here. My bet is that he's going to go in, look for a switch almost like Russia did in the Olympics, that step in to deny that front leg, look for points on the inside that way. Or, second option, he's looking for the spin. As we established before, I think I don't know if Taipei's game is going to change too much. It seems like he rely, he's relying a lot on that front leg, the dynamic of that front leg, to score the points. Oh, okay, never mind. That's the adjustment was use your back leg sometimes. That's why this guy's in the final worlds. Wow. I'm just going to eat my words here. A lot of dynamic stuff coming out of the front leg here. Er, a lot of stuff coming out of uh, Taipei here. Spin, back leg, another spin. Good job here. I would say great. I would say overall great. Nice job. Nice fight here. I would say overall great adjustment here by Taipei. I would not have expected that. I've, when, even watching his other fights prior to this, um, it seemed like a lot of it was just heavily based on that front leg dynamic. Dehun, killer accuracy. Oh, commit. So obviously Darren's scoring a lot of points here, but I, I really like the way Taipei changes up the whole game plan. I was under the impression that just, just that front leg, just dynamics. Now he's doing stuff I don't recall seeing him do that often. He's got the back leg, he's got the spin, and he's trying to mix it up on uh, on Lee Dehun here, which I... I really like. It's not, unfortunately, Dehun's cover obviously is great. Oh, close. Okay, there you go. But it was good of him to change game plan. Otherwise, Dehun would have walked in here with a full. Jeez, this guy's killer. So this also works. So I'm uh, pausing the change of game plan here. I think he should have done a little bit more of this first round to gather information of where Dehun might be weak. I like this situation because. Dehun's using the ring to his advantage. A lot of times during the exchanges, the past couple ones, uh, Red has not been moving back. He's been fighting more in place, more counter style in place, not really sliding back. Here's at the edge of the ring, no slide back option. Dehun just goes straight for the head, knowing he can't move. Let's try switch legs. Shoot, kick, 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 something. This is almost like in the bag. But then again, it almost was in the bag kind of at the Olympics. Nice try. All right, replay for... I don't know. Like, he's about to get a break. I wouldn't have replayed right there. Plus, you have one more round where it might be a little more dire. I don't know if I would have replayed there. try all right so not so bad by Taipei here good adjustments throwing a lot more of the weaponry at Dehun I think the second half of the first round may have been a little better to see where openings may have occurred seems like that back left flank um, for red here could have been good on the inside was where he scored his points so maybe look for something there but that was also because they're in a giant flurry so for Red, I would say he has to be willing to exchange a little bit more kick for kick Dehun in this match. I know it's difficult. It's Dehun. He's the king. But there's that's where he was scoring the points. So I think for him, that's the adjustment. For Dehun, I mean, he scored like a lot of points that round, man. So it's just say, keep the same game plan. Keep poking and flicking a little bit. When he's at the edge, throw the head kicks. If it's open stance, punch, kick underneath. I'm in, I'm really interested to see what Taipei is bringing to the table this round. This round, what, what's what's the adjustment given everything you've just seen? Nice try. Follow up. You gotta 
I would say a follow up every now and then would be good. Nice try there. Cut back leg. Nope. Looks like he's going back to a little bit more of what's comfortable. A lot more of the flicks. Could be that they felt they don't want to they want to fight him here at range. So it could have been that their re, their their the read from Taipei's side was try and poke at him at distance more. Uh, you're a little bit taller. Use your range. Poke, flick, try and score points that way. Because in fairness, David scored a lot of points that way against him. So they may be trying to take that, use that to advantage, because they need to stop the bleeding in points that way. Uh, and for Dehun, I mean, that's a giant lead. That's a that's that's eleven. That's thirteen points. That's big, pretty big. So I wouldn't change the game plan too much. But not bad adjustment here by Red. I think the point opportunity though for him is going to be a little bit more the clinch. It's just hard to go point for point with Dehun here. Nice try. And have your leg up first and watch the punch. Nice try. Going for the um, head kick again while he's at the edge. I think Dehun's just experimenting with some stuff now, actually. I don't know how tired Taipei is. I feel like a little bit more effort in the clinch would be good. I was, yeah. It's easy to go for the head kicks there because he knows Taipei can't move forward. So he's just going to stand there and he has to take it. And he's just, that's 20. Oh, they don't stop it in the finals, I guess. <laughs> Dan's just trying to beef his, uh, pad his stats, I guess. So I guess one of the takeaways since, I mean, it's he's kind of just running this guy over at this point. For front leg fighters, overall takeaway, I'll just finish this out. But overall takeaways for front leg fighters, take away the front space by either cut the way Dayhoon is or using your hand the way he is by keep you know, he keeps his hand out in front of him. It's not near his body. His hand's way in front of him. Occupies the space that way. Goes for, you can go for the punch open stance. I'm a big fan of going for the punch open stance. Now I know there's like small little, small tiny little up balls people do, so you just gotta watch for that. But overall, occupy the space. Overall, occupy that front space. Don't allow him to flick if that's what his game plan is. Uh, and I mean, at this level, you have to be good at all ranges, whether you're in close the way you do Dehun is scoring, or even at a, a range when. Red was uh, trying to score his own points there. Dayun was just picking up points from the outside as the as the cover was getting blown. Taipei not so bad on the in the second round, changing it up straight to back leg, a lot of follow up. I would like I said, I would would have liked to see that a little bit earlier in the match, try and get some stuff out of here. But Dayun with not only I'd say a greater arsenal of weapons, but a greater overall pressure strategy. Uh, good good job to Dayun here. Um, well deserved win 2017. Hopefully we get to see this guy fight again. I would like to. I don't know if he's retiring. I know he's married. He's been fighting for a long time, but I really think that this guy should end uh, on an Olympic career. But I'm not the one who has to train for four years, so who knows? Also, I gotta ask this now, but please like and subscribe if you guys enjoy this content. It helps me out, helps out the algorithm, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks. Bye.